Okay, this is a uh, video announcement update uh, regarding the awful situation I'm in. As you know, about 24 hours ago, about the third bogus strike uh, hit my account within a six-month period, and I have been locked out of my account just days before I was to release the white iPhone 4S microwaving, a video episode that everybody has been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, what I'm going to explain here is I'm going to show you exactly why I won't be able to release this iPhone 4S video. As you can see, I have no way to access my account. YouTube staff has effectively uh, locked me out of my account. I can't answer my email. I can't upload videos. I can't even watch videos on the YouTube site. They have completely blocked me off the site for at least two weeks, which in effect will cause me to completely lose my invested money, time, and effort on this large-scale production that I have created for my fans and audience. Um, this is absolutely horrible. Um, it Basically, it resulted, this latest one resulted from a old microwaving video of me microwaving a Game Boy. They felt it was so obscene and so horrendous that they must completely delete the video off their site and suspend me even though it was a video of nothing but me microwaving a Game Boy from over three years ago previously already screened and reviewed by staff had revenue sharing on it was viral was making them money and was doing very well it was uh, it was a great video I created an artwork out of it the intention of the video as with all my videos was artistic production for creating art and as you know from many of the things I microwave it is for the purpose of art and create unique forms of art out of it a lot of these things are like mutant space slugs creatures or abstract art creations created from the process of microwaving unique to what I do as an artist it is a unique medium using microwaves to create art and in the process I show people the microwaving process in high detail in a safe and controlled environment in which I include disclaimers in the description I even verbally tell people do not attempt this at home under any circumstance whatsoever at all it even says do not attempt in the video descriptions it abides by all the YouTube terms of service and all the rules that they have so my concern here is, is that uh, there's a very serious situation involved uh, I have found because I have received an inordinate amount of uh, spam comments uh, threats and emails in regards to a very heavy-duty hatred against me based on my faith I don't understand why this is so important to people. Why can't you just let me succeed as an artist and entertainer? Why must you attack me so aggressively based on my faith and the fact that I am a Muslim? Why is this so important to you? Um, I have noticed that staff have played a role factor in this. They are clearly aware of the problem. I have forwarded a huge amount of evidence to them in regards to why my work is being attacked. Um, I would like you to go over and uh, view this Google thread out in regards to a lot of what has been said and the what this Google employee, how they reacted to it, why they, how they buried the thread and pretended the problem did not exist. Um, the abuse has been going on for years. I have had a tremendous number of my videos get wrongfully flag spammed. Um, this has been false, false flagging, a lot of it. Um, I've even had some hate speech videos recommended to me by YouTube show up on my uh, on my channel homepage. 
uh, they have recommended one thing, adopt a uh, Muslim terrorist by uh, the Station 2. Here I go. Oh, oh. oh, no. So, Randy and I decided that we would adopt a Muslim extremist to, you know, learn about culture and... He, it's just fascinating stuff we're learning about Ahmed. And he's getting along so well with our son, Greg, our little baby. We're just having a good time emerging with one another's cultures. Mm -hmm. I had never been to California. So when Ahmed said, hey, let's go to California, I was, woo, let's go. Too Pack, bad, bags too bad already we never packed. made it. Uh, the plane actually had to land uh, prematurely. Mm -hmm. the, the people from the National Security Department mm -hmm. uh, were, were sort of friendly. Uh, as, oh, they, very. as they hogtied us. Or, it was uh, like James Bond or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <gasps> also, I can never vote again. Never. Learning from other cultures, uh, that's one thing I do agree with her. It's eye-opening. It's eye-opening. And at the same time, you want to close your eyes. Sometimes you have to when you don't yeah. like what you're seeing. Would we adopt a Muslim extremist again? Let's ask Mr. Stick in the mud. Uh, I would say in retrospect, um, we would not. I would. I mean, Adopt come on, look, we're doing Muslim another cultural extremist. game. Yay, here another comes culture. culture. I love culture. Doing the black sacks. Decapitation. Oh, honey, come on. Oh, Just okay. get out of your own head. Quite literally, actually. Which is a hideous video that is that is hateful against Muslims, stereotypes Muslims, and they have recommended this to me, and this particular partner is making money off of it. They're allowed to have this kind of hate speech that clearly violates YouTube terms of service, can make money off of it, but yet I can't express my creative artistic abilities in producing my microwave show, in which does not violate anything, has the appropriate disclaimers, has, has, is done in a controlled and safe environment. And, and I always tell people, do not attempt any of these experiments at home. Now, I've had approximately an estimated 100 plus videos flag spammed. I lost count a while ago. It has caused a extreme stress and hardship on my work and me. As the sabotage continues, um, I've lost a lot of rightful revenue, revenue I depend on to produce the show, specifically for my fans' and entertainment and enjoyment, and uh, it has had a severe impact. Uh, why is it so important that people attack my work based on my faith? Why, 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 I ask? Why is it so important that YouTube staff side with these people? What is wrong with you? Why are you going along with these people? You clearly know what they're doing. I have forwarded the threats, the promises from these people who promised to get my account terminated because of this. You know the motives behind the flag spammings. You know that there's nothing wrong with my videos and that I do not deserve this kind of abuse. Um, most of these flag spammings, uh, bogus copyright claims, revenue denial suspensions, strikes have occurred on a staff shift that occurs between the hours of 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is a pattern to this. I cannot explain it, but there is definitely a pattern. Why does YouTube recommend hate speech against Muslims to me? Aware of the attacks on my work, pretend the problem does not exist, enforce bogus flag spam from users who clearly abuse your site features, and you refuse to take action against these account holders that attack my work. Those users who clearly, clearly violate terms of service, there's this one, uh, one channel on there that uh, is set up specifically to incite hatred against Muslims, another channel that you recommended to me on my home page. I'm just speechless. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is, this is a horrendous, awful, terrible problem, and I desperately, desperately need someone's help out there to help me with this. My question to YouTube staff is, 
are you really Islamophobic? Do you really side with these people? Because the evidence that I see thus far is that you seem to. I leave it up to people who are watching this video. You decide on what you feel is, you know, what you feel is YouTube staff's position on this. So far, they have done little if nothing to help me with this. I am a dedicated YouTube artist and entertainer who also happens to be a Muslim, which should make absolutely no difference whatsoever at all. I should have the right to express my creativity under the First Amendment right that all these people that you claim or these people that are on your site that you're allowing them to express hate speech against Muslims under the same First Amendment speech right. This hate speech against Muslims has, is, is potentially dangerous towards Muslims, can incite hate crimes towards them, yet you allow it to continue while I cannot express my right to express my creative content on my YouTube site. An excellent job that I do to produce wonderful creative entertainment that people have enjoyed for years practically since the conception of your of your site has come into existence ever since early 2006 just months after YouTube was established I am one of your oldest most established YouTube users on your site I have over 1300 videos many of which is my microwave show. I have created many other shows. I have shown many of my artworks. I have done all kinds of wonderful and creative things. I have shown my travel videos. I have uh, tried to produce you know, the highest quality content I can within my capacity to do so. Yet my work continues to be attacked unrelentlessly with no end in sight. I am also asking for John's help of, is it a good idea to microwave this? I am asking for his help. He, you may be in a position, John, to help me, help me make a positive difference, to help me lift the, uh, the suspension, lockout suspension of my account. It, that has been, it has really hurt me. I, if you can successfully get the lockout suspension removed from my account, I will give you credit as a hero for saving the day on my video, microwaving the new iPhone 4S that, is, that was to be released on Friday, October 14th on release date of the new iPhone 4S. I also was going to... Uh, produce this video with a memorial credit to the late Steve Jobs, an ingenious innovator of home computing and the most cutting edge devices on the market these days. A creative and wonderful individual who has been plagued with a horrible cancerous situation that he has fought for years and yet still managed to produce wonderful innovative devices that have changed the world of computing and telecommunications through his new iPhone gadgets, iPads, etc, etc, etc. If if I have to pay you to help me, John, I will. I really just want my right to produce my creative content. I am pretty much just at that position right now that I don't know what else to do. I don't know who else to turn to. <sighs> I just need someone's help. Please uh, leave your comments, feelings, or idea, ideas, um, you know, about how you feel about this whole situation. Anyone out there who can help me, I will gratefully appreciate their help. Thank you.